My background is education. I've been teaching for 12 years. I've taught everything from fifth grade to eighth grade. In the last six years, I've been department chair. I had the opportunity to write for STEM schools this summer. For the first time, I felt that I was surrounded with educators who were simply believers in the process of hands-on and inquiry-based learning. We were able to not only construct lessons, but also bounce ideas off one another to tweak it and improve it so that it was useful for educators, but also beneficial for our students. My name is Elizabeth Bell. I'm a research associate at Rice University, and my role is to coordinate the pilot study that's being conducted in Waco Independent School District with 51 preschool classrooms that are implementing the STEM Scopes Early Explorer curriculum, which is the early childhood STEM curriculum. The Waco teachers and teacher assistants are required to attend all of the professional development sessions that are being provided by ALI and they are also required to respond to my online surveys and have interviews with me personally. I will also be observing a subsample of these classrooms um, at least three times throughout the school year so that I can document how STEM Scopes Early Explorer is being implemented in the classroom. So I started with STEM Scopes back in 2010 and today I am the director for curriculum production. The feedback button was something that we came up with when we realized that a lot of our teachers and a lot of the people using our program had some really great suggestions for us and we used to just get them all via email. But we went ahead and installed a button in the website, the feedback button, that will enable them to submit a comment to us and will also tell us what part of the website that they were on, what document they were looking at, what page they were looking at. It enables us to go into the website directly and look exactly at what they are seeing and we get anywhere from on a daily basis, anywhere from 40 to 50 uh, teachers that submit a note, some feedback through the feedback button for us to work through. I started at STEM Scopes two and a half years ago. I was actually a student worker. I was editing curriculum for Andrew. And then even a year later, we had grown to have 30 plus employees at that point. Um, and that's what I moved into customer support, really like order processing. So some calls that I get here in customer support, a lot of them are gonna be order related issues. Every once in a while, of course, I'll catch some where they are having an issue with the website or they're really needing to get set up or uploaded for their teachers. I had one case where she had been trying to contact us that day and um, it was towards the end of the day, it was about six o'clock, but I could tell she was pretty frustrated. So what I ended up doing was I gave her my cell phone. So I let her know, you know, you can call me anytime, I will be up. I had actually just taken a shower and I could hear my phone ringing. So I was kind of in my towel, but I could see it was her and I didn't want her to feel like she wasn't gonna get the attention that I told her she would. So here I am in my towel. <laughs> I pick up my phone and I kind of worked her through the issue that she had. Um, so that was a, going a bit above and beyond. <laughs> I don't usually answer phone calls in my towel, I promise, but no, no limits too high for our customers. <laughs> I work at Rice University. I work in research and in our partnership with ALI, we have a National Science Foundation grant to study how teachers plan and to gather their feedback about the STEM Scopes teacher dashboard and to use that teacher feedback to improve the teacher dashboard. We are learning from teachers in several ways. Currently we are mid-process doing lots of interviews, observations, we're going and watching them lesson plan and we're interviewing them about their lesson planning, we're talking to instructional coaches about how they want their teachers to lesson plan, how they want their teachers to use data. We also have a survey, and then we're going to repeat that process in the spring. It's really an iterative process to make sure that we are understanding their feedback, then we're putting it into place, and that when we put it into place that we've done it in a way that still makes sense to the teacher.